Hey guys, so unfortunately while editing this video, I realized that Arcteros no longer offers the Proton AR that I'm currently wearing. They do however still make the Atom AR, which is a warmer jacket, and they have something similar to the Proton AR called the Proton LT. So LT to them means lightweight, so it's a little bit less insulation. So where with the Proton AR, it was their core loft 65 and 90, with the Proton LT, it's gonna be 60 in hood and 80 in the body, so it's a little bit less. It is still made to be a jacket that is lightweight, and also warm while being very breathable. So it's great for those high exertion activities where you wanna be warm, but you don't wanna be overheated and you wanna dry quickly. So pretty good option, uh, still has one chest pocket, still has adorable face fabric, and like I said, it's a very similar offering. So if you guys wanna check this video out to learn more about these jackets, let's move on to the next location. The Arcteryx Atom AR and the Proton AR, which I'm wearing now, are two great products from Arcteryx that can be used as both an insulating layer and as a standalone piece. They offer great quality, comfort, and technical performance. Today we're gonna compare these two in terms of insulation, materials, warmth, features, and intended use. If you'd like to check them out and also support the channel, you can check the links in the description below. And also head over to betterlifereviews.com where I have lots of awesome daily deals as well as written reviews to save you guys the most time and money. All right, so let's get to it. If you guys want a quick summary up front, the Proton AR is better for staying warm while also engaging in high exertion activities because of its increased breathability. While the Atom AR is better for staying warm while standing around in cold environments as a standalone piece and for increased wind resistance. And that's because it has more insulation and it has decreased breathability. Both these jackets have Arcteryx's Korloff insulation. That's a synthetic insulation that dries quickly, has great durability, and stays warm when wet. A traditional down insulation has a great warmth to weight ratio, but the problem is that as soon as it gets wet, it loses a great amount of its warmth. So synthetic insulation is really the way to go when you're gonna be sweating a lot, coming in contact with wet environments, and doing outdoor type things. Now these jackets also utilize a continuous fabric design. So where you traditionally have baffles and you can get cold spots in the middle of those baffles, these jackets have more of a continuous fabric, which is gonna keep the wind out and keep the warmth in. This is also the case on the Atom LT, which is Arcteryx's most pop popular jacket. It just has a little bit less insulation and it has some breathable mesh side panels, but it's also an excellent option if you don't need to keep as warm. The Proton AR has Core Loft 65 and 90, while the Atom AR has Core Loft 120, 80, and 60. So the Atom AR does have significantly more insulation, however, it doesn't make as much of a difference as you might think. I found that the Proton AR does good down to about 30 degrees, uh, maybe 20 degrees Fahrenheit if you have a shell over top of it. Uh, it can go up to maybe 60, 65 degrees and be warm. So today it's close to 60 degrees out here and I feel great in this jacket. Uh, where with the Atom AR, I might be able to go down maybe another 15 degrees or so. So you could probably go down to maybe 10 degrees, maybe even zero degrees possibly with a shell on top of it. Uh, but it's not gonna be as good. You're probably gonna be too warm if it gets environments to be, you know, that's 50 degrees or more. The Proton AR has a 40s Air 40 shell, which is elastane and nylon, that's what they call it. Uh, and I found this to be a very, very durable and, you know, good feeling face fabric. While with the Atom AR, it also has a great face fabric as well, but it doesn't appear to be quite as good at resisting uh, rips and tears. Now that is a Tayono 30 denier face fabric, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to rip than the Atom LT. Uh, but overall, to me, this is, seems to be a little bit more of a durable fabric. Both jackets have pockets for your hands. Now, the Atom AR has one internal pocket, while the Protein AR has two pockets here. These are Napoleon-style pockets. I've actually found these to be very helpful. Um, so you could put you know, credit cards, ID, snacks, a ski pass, whatever, in these pockets. You can use them very easily by putting your hand up here instead of having to reach down into a jacket while you're doing activities. So actually very, very helpful. It's also important to consider that the Atom AR is available in an XXL, while the Proton AR is not. The Proton AR is also a little bit more of a trimmer fit. Um, so this is an XL on me. Um, I'm about 220 pounds, 5'9 right now. So um, it fits pretty well, but if you're any more than that, it may be a little tight on you. It is a little bit tighter in through the shoulders. Um, so I would say the size up a little bit and the size you're getting, uh, this really causes no problems for me, but if you get kind of that borderline size, it's just big enough, you may find that it's a little bit tight in through the shoulders in the back. Some people have complained about the zippers on these two jackets and a tendency for it to separate a little bit while you're doing activity. And that is a possibility. However, I haven't found it to be a problem on this Proton AR. So it does have some kind of little stops where it actually is meant to stop and prevents the zipper from coming down. Uh, and also if you size at the appropriate size, you're not gonna have a lot of stress in that area. And I really haven't found it to be a problem. Neither of these jackets are waterproof. However, they are both coated with a DWR finish. So they are gonna repel some water. 
All right, so in conclusion, like I said in the beginning, it's really going to depend on your intended use. If you want to stay the most warm, then I would go with the Atom AR. However, if you want to do a lot of high exertion activities like skiing, snowboarding, rock climbing, ice climbing, that kind of stuff, I definitely will go with the Proton AR. It's going to allow you more breathability, uh, more adaptability, and also will allow you to wear it you know, kind of later in the year in the springtime and stuff like that as well. So. Uh, both great jackets, but it really just depends on what you want. So um, if you guys do want to check these out, like I said, links are in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please um, subscribe as well if you'd like to subscribe and see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.